Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Wonder Kid Watch where today we're taking a look at Lucian Agume uh, currently at Brest but on loan from Inter. Before we get started though make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and of course leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes. But as I mentioned, Lassian Nagume looks pretty nice. A centre midfielder who can play deeper or further forward if necessary. 19 years old, Frenchman. Um, some nice natural fitness who will be around for a long, long time if you do sign him. Um, already he's made the move from uh, FCSM in Ligue 2 to Inter Milan. I'd been on a couple of loans, one in Syria and one over in Brest now. So it'll be interesting to see how he gets on there. Let's take a look at his attributes though before we jump ahead. Um, we can see that he's got 149 potential, already at 121. So a player that should be able to get some good game time, but with plenty of potential still as well. So let's jump ahead and take a look how he gets on. And here we are, 10 years on, and he has become a Cameroonian international 66 caps for them and 15 goals so an influential player for them he's now at Sampdoria 29 years old looking very nice natural fitness still great some good vision in there as well um, the passing stat as well links up quite nicely with that and technique first touch is good as well as that so looking a nice little player with that experience of international as well Looking at his time at Inter, uh, he didn't really get much game time until he got the move to Sampdoria for free, where he did start to play regular football. He was relegated with them, but then got promotion straight away when he played effectively a full season. And from there, I mean, he's just gone from strength to strength, improving year on year. So it's good to see he has got that ability in him. Now, looking at his competitions, we can see... Italian Serie A champions. I mean, he did contribute to that. So, absolutely, he did win the Serie A. Uh, got relegated from the Serie A, but won the Serie B, um, so which is good to see. And made his international debut at 19 for Cameroon. Um, awards, though, we can see there is plenty here. And actually, it looks like there's been a few that have um, been quite substantial as well. Named in Africa Cup of Nations Dream Team. Uh, African Cup of Nations Best Player as well. Uh, and obviously, the Cameroon... Uh, seasonal best player, was Supporters Player of the Year for Sampdoria, African Footballer of the Year shortlist as well. Um, there's plenty on here. Supporters Player of the Year again. Um, best 11, obviously, for Cameroon. Supporters Player of the Year again. Uh, African 11 of the Year. Uh, African Midfielder of the Year third place. African Footballer of the Year shortlist. I mean, there's just... It's non-stop. Supporters Player of the Year again in there as well. Um, Serie B Team of the Year. He's obviously been very, very influential at Sampdoria and really made a difference. I mean, it sounds like he's been a good, solid player for them. If you can get him earlier on, um, and I mean, it looks like you could get him for free from Inter. He looks like a player that could develop quite nicely and be a good, solid player for you in your side. Um, let's take a look at his attributes, though. How has he got on there? He's hasn't even reached his 149 potential uh, and putting in those performances for Cameroon and such already so that's good to see but 139 out of 149 I'm sure you could even get that higher if you got him the game time earlier on in his career uh, which he didn't get at Inter but there you go thank you very much for watching make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel of course leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes and I'll catch you in the next one